Okay, so five more questions for us to look at. We're now on set B. So we're looking, uh, it's a little step up from the ones before. So we're moving away from C grade questions, and you'll see some of the next questions are definitely B grade standard. Let's look at this. Let's factorize these. Well, we need to find what goes into both parts here. Well, what goes into both parts? An x goes into both elements. So to get an x squared, I need to multiply the x outside by an x inside, and to get 2x, I need to multiply x by plus 2, and there I get my um, expression I started with, x squared plus 2x. Similarly, looking down here, what goes into both elements? Well, y goes into both, so that's going outside the bracket. Well, y times y is going to give me y squared, and I'm going to have to minus 6, because y times 6 gives me minus 6y. Similar thing here, except we've got letter and number that go into both these elements. So, well, the number that goes into 8 and 20 is 4, and an x goes into x squared and 20xy. So we have to set up this. This time, how am I going to get 8x squared? Well, I need the 2 times by the 4 to give me an 8, and then I need the x to give me an x squared. That gives me 8x squared minus, well I've got 4, I need to get to 20 using multiply, so it's got to be a 5, so that gives me 20x, or minus 20x, I've got minus 20xy, so I need to multiply by y as well. You can check your answers by multiplying the brackets out and seeing if you get back to where you started. So here's an example of that, expanding or multiplying out. This is just 7 times x and 7 times 3, so you get 7x plus 21. Here we're going to get an x times x, x squared, x times 3 plus 3x. And down here we've got an example of numbers and letters. So 2 times 3 gives us 6, y times y gives us y squared for the first term. And the second term, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. And we're also multiplying by y, we can't forget that. Okay, so hopefully fairly standard uh, expanding factorise of a single bracket. If we move on to... I mean, we're now looking at some B-grade work, so we've now got double brackets. Now, there's a number of different ways that you can, you can do these questions. I like to do them with a grid, and then when you get confident, you can... You can like go straight and just multiply them straight out. What do I mean by a grid? Well, I need a little multiplication grid here, and I've got to multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. So I need an x and a plus one, and I need an x and a plus three. It's not really much room there, so let's clear that and try drawing it again up here, give myself a little bit more room, x and 1 in the first bracket and x and 3 in the next bracket. So I'm going to multiply all the elements together so I should get four answers and then hopefully two of those four answers are going to go together. So x times x is an x squared, x times 1 is x, 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times 1 is 3. So I get all of those elements, and that would be worth one mark in exam for getting that. So, and then I notice that I can actually collect those together. If I come to add all the answers up, I multiply them to get into the grid. Now, if I add these answers up, I should get an x squared, 3x and x together makes 4x, and then 3 times 1 is plus 3. So that is collected. So I've now got, I had four multiplication answers, which collapses down to three individual terms. Let's have a look at the next one. Let's just change colour. Let's look at this multiplication grid. X and a minus 6. X and a plus 2. Now remember, I'm multiplying to get inside this grid. So I'm going to get an X squared, a minus 6X plus 2x, and I've written plus just to be obvious because I've got a minus here, and 2 times minus 6 is actually minus 12. 
So again, I get four answers. That would be worth one mark in the exam if I did it correctly. And then I'm going to collect these two together. And I've got to be a bit careful because I've got minus 6x and plus 2x. So when I want to expand the brackets now, I've got x squared plus 2 minus 6 is minus 4x. When I combine those together, minus 12. Look at one more. So looking at my grid, if I have an x and a minus 4 and an x and a plus 7, multiplying all the four elements to get my four individual answers, x squared minus 4x, 7x and minus 28. Minus 4 times 7 is minus 28. Again, let's collect the ones that are the same, the like terms. This gives me x squared plus 3x, I hope you can see where I got that from, 7 take away 4, minus 28. Okay. Now factorising is the inverse process, I need to put this back into brackets. So I can either use the grid to help me, or I can kind of spot that this number down here was a multiplication of 1 and 3. 1 and 3 was here. So I need to find a number that multiplies to make 2, while at the same time adds up to make 3. So these two middle terms added up to make this, and the outside terms multiplied to make that. So if I set up my framework of my double brackets, I realize that I get an x and an x here. That's going to be the two elements of my grid. Give me x squared. Now, two numbers are multiplied to make 2. Well, in this case, only 1 and 2, or minus 1, minus 2, can multiply together to make plus 2. But I've got to add up to make plus 3. So it's got to be x plus 1, x plus 2 in my brackets. Let's see another one. Set up my double brackets. I need to multiply to make 12 while adding to make 7. It's a little more complicated. Um, I can use 1 and 12 to get 12. I can use 2 and 6. Or I can use 3 and 4. Or I could use a double negative. So both of these numbers could be negative as well. So which ones multiply to make 12 but add up to make 7? Well, that's this pair, isn't it? So I know my two answers are x plus 3, x plus 4. And you can check by multiplying back out. See if you get back to where you started. Let's change colour. This time, multiply to make minus 15, add to make plus 2. Well, it's going to be 1 and 15. Oh, minus 1 and 15, because I want to make minus 15. And then, or it could be 1 and minus 15. Could be minus three and five, or it could be three and minus five. So I need to make a plus two when I add them together. So it's definitely not these top ones. This makes minus two, so it's got to be this combination. So it's got to be x minus three, x plus five. Or I could have in the first bracket, I could have x plus five first and x minus three in the second bracket. As long as I've got the minus with the three and the plus with a 5. Last one, multiplying to make 35 while adding to make minus 2. Well, let's have a look. We're a bit smarter now. we kind of picked up what's going on. So to make minus 35, we're going to have minus 5 and plus 7. Or we're going to have 5 and minus 7. And I spot straight away, it's going to be this pair, because I've got to make minus 2 this time. So I'm going to have x plus 5 x minus 7. Okay. Let's move on. Look at the last question in this. This last question says, now match an expression from one of these with one of those. So we're just checking our knowledge. So if you want to pause it and have a think about it, go ahead and do it. Well, this is going to be a double bracket. So two numbers that multiply to make 6, multiply to make 6, and add to make 5. Well, it's got to be this one, hasn't it? So this has got to be equal to x plus 3, x plus 2. So let's tick this one off. If we look at this one now, 
let's factorise it in the factorised form. It's going to have a 3x outside the bracket, and it's going to be x plus 2 inside the bracket. So that matches up with this one. This is going to be double bracket multiplying to make minus 8, adding up to make 2. Well, that's got to be this one down here, isn't it? Number 5. It's x minus 2 x plus 4. That one, 2 to match up. This is going to be a double bracket as well. Well, there's only one double bracket left. Let's check. Multiply to make minus 5. Yeah, plus 1 and minus 5 works. That also makes minus 4. So x plus 1, x minus 5. And that leaves us to the last bracket. Let's check this one. 4x does come out. That's 2x minus 5. That just check the expression works. Yep, that one works with that. They're all matched up now. Okay, so you might want to pause this and go back over it and uh, check you know how to do it, especially factorising the double brackets. That's the uh, really key uh, element of this video. Okay, good luck.